name's Leon, and hosting with me tonight is Elise. Well, thanks, Leon. Welcome back to the Underground Tournament. Let's take a look at the current tournament bracket. We currently have 11 drivers who had advanced into the next rounds. Tonight, we have four brand new drivers. One of those drivers visiting from Monster Motorsports, and the other from T-Bone's Custom Garage. Our first driver is Deckard, driving in the McLaren 720S, weighing in at 49.8 grams with a track time of 934. Next up, we have Roberto, driving in the Jaguar XE Project 8, weighing in at 55.1 grams with a track time of 895. This next driver is Phoenix, driving in the Chevy Nova, weighing in at 39.8 grams with a track time of 905. And last but not least, we have T-Money, driving in the Lamborghini Aventador, weighing in at 51.8 grams with a track time of 899. The rules of the race are pretty simple. Earn as many underground credits without getting a DNF. Driver with the best track time earns an additional 500 credits. Looks like our drivers are lined up and ready to go. Leon? That's right, Elise. We are good to roll. Let's race. Looks like all the drivers play it safe holding their starting positions with Roberto in first place, second place T Money, third place Deckard, and fourth place Phoenix. Roberto gets honorable mention in this round as he has a force to be reckoned with with these straight paths throughout the whole race with little or no drifting coming out of those corners. Let's see if he can hold that momentum through the rest of these rounds. Phoenix comes out strong with the whole shot, stealing that second place position from Deckard. As they come out of turn three, we see this insult to injury as Phoenix pulls the wild block, preventing both Roberto and Deckard from making any kind of pass. Don't ask me how he recovered from that one. Finishing strong, we have T-Money in first place, followed by Phoenix, Roberto, and Deckard in last place. Such a disappointment for any Phoenix fans, blowing his second place position right before the finish line, resulting in a DNF. Let's go ahead and take a look back at this replay and see what actually happens. It looks like Deckard and Phoenix both have a strong lead, but as they round turns five through eight, it looks like Deckard was running just a bit slow, sending Phoenix onto the guardrails. That's a shame for Phoenix as he gave overtake points to T-Money and Roberto, increasing their leads in the group. I think this is the first time we have ever seen a rollover in the EP videos track. Phoenix is a fast car, but it's very top heavy, and as he takes turn four way too fast and high, he flips, giving the lead to Roberto and T-Money. Deckard comes out dragging behind the group, probably due to the fact that Phoenix created a traffic jam, resulting in DNFs for both drivers. Checking the scores, both Roberto and T-Money have strong leads in the tournament. Deckard and Phoenix are way behind in points 
points. And as we move into round two, our current fastest driver in this round is Roberto with a track time of 888. Let's see if he can earn that 500 credit bonus. Money just absolutely steals the show with that clean pass on Roberto. Looking back on this replay, it looks like Team Money just sees this opportunity, this open lane, and hits the gas and slips between Roberto and the sidewall. Such a clean pass. We're going to dish out major props to Team Money for this round. Deckard falls flat on his face going from second place position all the way down to fourth place position. As the drivers come out of turn three and four, Phoenix manages to steal second from Deckard. And then as we go down to our little roundabout section, Roberto takes advantage of an open lane and passes Deckard, leaving him way in the dust taking that fourth place position. Let's go ahead and get into our next race, race seven. While all drivers play it safe in this round, finishing in their starting positions, first place Deckard, second Phoenix, third Roberto, and fourth T-Money. Taking a look up at the scoreboard, even if Deckard or Phoenix could get that 500 credit bonus, there's no way they could take first or second place position. That means in our last and final race, we're going to be battling it out between T-Money and Roberto to see who earns that first place position. pulls out a huge lead on the group in this round. As we watch him come out of the start gate and even the whole shot, he just blows everybody out of the water, nearly tipping on turn four. Roberto manages to keep up with Phoenix. However, something happens with Roberto and Deckard in turns six through eight, resulting in DNFs for both of those drivers. T-Money manages to avoid the accident and pulls into that second place position. As we take a look at the top track time for tonight, it looks like T-Money earns that with 8.84, followed closely by Roberto with a track time of 8.88. Those points go to T-Money, and the final scores, T-Money first place and Roberto in second place. Hey, that's all I have for you guys tonight. Thanks for tuning in, and have a great night. We'll catch you on the next time.